a great year, uh, a lot of firsts for me. Um, happy with the progress, I mean, very successful year. Uh, just out there in the summer was, was a great time, you know, being in Mexico, winning my first title, then the Pan Am Games, and then finishing school is just a, a very important year for me, and I think uh, I look forward to doing more things in 2020. You talk about 2020 now, what is your schedule looking like there? Well, I moved to Texas full time in January. Going to be training with Taylor Den and his academy. Uh, I believe my first tournaments will be, I think, back in Mexico in the first week of February. And then uh, we come back to the state side. And then I think the whole month of March is going to be on the West Coast in like Vegas and California playing some, some tournaments. So I'm ready to go. Training in Texas, how are you going to ramp up your training since you're going down there now? I think it's good. I mean, I, I have a sole focus now, just tennis. So I'll have more time in the day just to focus on my craft. Um, it's school out of the way now, so uh, I think it'll be good for me. Uh, I can really see some bigger improvements in my game, hopefully, and uh, try to accomplish some of those goals for next year. You gonna stick with doubles and singles, or how do you plan to do your time? Yeah, I'm gonna play both. One of my one of my best friends trains out there with me, Jordy McGinley. We'll be on the same schedule starting out, and uh, we play doubles together at every tournament that we play if we, when we get in. So uh, I'm gonna focus on both, but my my priority is definitely singles. I know this year you were exempted from the Nationals and because you have your ATP ranking automatically on that Davis Cup team, it has to be a good feeling to know you're going to play Davis Cup for the Bahamas next year? Yeah, I mean, it's been a, a thing we've been dealing with the last, I don't know how many years, and uh, I think it's, we're on the right track. Uh, I think it's going to be fun having me, KJ, I think Baker is definitely on the team as well. I think we have a good chance to go up into Group 2 and then hopefully in the future we can go even further. The new format they have for Davis Cup now, is it harder or easier, you think? Uh, I think it's probably just better for players in general. I think for group three, it's going to be the same. But for the higher groups, they have everything in one week is good. Uh, keep the schedules a little bit shorter because we, we have a lot. Of, we have a very demanding year. I mean, we we go from January through the end of November, early December. So to have everything done in one week instead of spreading it out helps helps the players a lot. This is going to be your first full year on tour as a pro. Do you have like a five, ten year plan? What you want to do and the kind of tournaments you want to play to, to uh, get up there? 100%. 2024, I plan to play the Olympics. That's my biggest goal. Um, in the next two years, three years, I want to be playing in the Grand Slam qualities or main draws. So this coming year is a big step for me. I want to make my ranking high enough so I can play the Challenger Tour, which is the next step after the Futures. So uh, I just look to to get past the futures in this next year or so and then move into challenges and ATPs in the, in the near future, hopefully. With the degree you got, do you plan to use that after you finish with tennis or what do you plan to do with that? I mean, yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's a sports law and business degree. So hopefully, I don't know whether it's opening an academy or doing something with the sports industry here in the Bahamas. Or I, don't, I don't really, I don't have a plan per se, but uh, hope I, I will use it in some, some aspects of my life.